to the Rage Lounge. Uh, might notice that recently I've started doing some streams, so this is entirely a new thing for me here, doing, instead of a stream, a recording with OBS, instead of uh, using Fraps. Because, well, Fraps wouldn't allow me to do the webcam capture, I don't think, and it seems like the file sizes are a lot larger in Fraps as well, so I'm just giving it a try. We'll see how it turns out. Okay. So, this is Star Wars Conquest, the newest version, uh, 0.9.4. It's uh, a mod for Mountain Blade, Star Wars mod, total conversion, uh, which makes it almost unrecognizable that you were playing Mountain Blade. Um, it's, like in my opinion, Lucasfilm should have made a game like this a long time ago. <laughs> and I hope that Disney will make a game like this. Something that's a lot more open-ended than anything else they were. It's almost like a, a one-player Star Wars galaxy. Kind of. Except it has more... Uh, well, I mean, if they could... Okay, rather than rant here, I'm just going to get started while I'm talking. Um, if they could fix up the, the combat a bit, like instead of making the uh, laser the laser bolts act like arrows, because in this game physics applies to everything, um, it would be a lot better. Lucasfilm could, or rather now Disney, could definitely profit off of a game, an official game like this. Okay, so we start up the mod and gives you a little summary of what you're playing. And you can choose your race. I choose between various humans, Twi'leks, Rodian, Moncal, Trandoshan. You could be a droid, which is not very fun in my experience. <laughs> Uh, you give you a Wookiee, a Celestin, Gamorian, Bothan, Geonosian, Jawa, or a Tuscan Raider. Uh, for the purposes of this, I think I'll stick to being a human, because I'm boring. Now, no matter what I play, ever, I, I usually play <laughs> Soldier a smuggler or a bounty hunter, but I always seem to branch off into being a Jedi or a Sith. So I'm just going to start off before a sensitive warrior. Um, you could choose to remain independent, but it puts you at a serious disadvantage at the start of the game. You start with uh, less credits, only you and your crew, and you don't you can't vibe for a faction right away. Um, so, being that I love the Galactic Empire, I always have, and Darth Vader is one of my all-time favorite characters. Not that I have anything against the uh, the Alliance and well, Jabba, but I'm gonna join the Empire. Uh. Sorry, it uh, suddenly closed for me for a second there. Okay, uh, so, after visiting the recruiting center, you were accepted into the army and spent several months training at the Imperial Academy. As your last task before graduation, you were given a small ship and sent to course hunt to pledge your loyalty before Emperor Palpatine himself. So let's go. Um... be able to quit without saving because I'm cheap like that okay we're gonna be a Jedi so strength and intelligence and charisma actually all the stats are important I'm gonna raise intelligence and strength one in power strike we need 
need to start raising persuasion right away. Uh, put two in trainer and athletics and one in force knowledge. I want to put stuff in one handed weapons, summon force power. Our character, Lendar. Uh, terrible. I'm terrible with last names. Um, you know what? Just Lendar will suffice. Okay. Now we come to the screen where we can customize our character. Now this is the original Mounds and Blade Warband, or the, sorry, the original Mounds and Blade Warband is the next game, and the most recent one is with Fire and Sword. Um, but, yeah, being the oldest in the Mountain Blade series, the character customization is still fairly impressive, but dated. I think there are a few custom skins in here that came with uh, Star Wars Conquest, but in my opinion, none of the uh, none of the skins look all together all that good. They could do with some updating before. If this isn't if this isn't the final release of Star Wars Conquest, um, they could really do with some updating of the skins and or just adding more skins, more variety. As it is, like even though you choose even though you choose a human, there are all these different skins here. But, you can also, there are alien skins accessible through here. This is the weak way, there's a two weak way skins here. This is Chiss. Uh, you know what, I have no idea what this is. I think it's, I would equate it to an Iridonian, even though they don't, or a Zabrak, even though they don't use this skin for them. It looks like it would be, uh, that's Emperor Palpatine. That is another Zabrak, it's Darth Maul. <laughs> um, they have one African American skin in here. And the rest are basically all white guys. Old, scarred white guys. There's only one. There's a few skins here. These are the original Mountain Blade skins here. I don't know if any of these are in the original Mountain Blade. But, uh. Only a few of them look young. This one looking the youngest, in my opinion, because there's no friggin' age lines. There's age lines all over all the faces. And it's. or scars, and, like, it's. You can't make a very good looking character with some guy that looks like this. the texture on this one is kind of eh. So I mean I'll go with the more photorealistic texture here. Even though he's kind of like Ugh. um okay. So there's an age meter here which will do as it says. It will age you. All the skins, or most of the skins, either have age ranges, or the age meter does various scarring effects. That one loses an eye, it's pretty cool. That, that just <laughs> apparently turns you between Asian and Caucasian really freaky blue eyes. Anyways, I'm spending a lot of time with your customization here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this skin. I want a few age lines, but nothing massive. Uh, hair. The hair could also use some 
because just because <laughs> um, they still got a bunch of the original mountain blade hairs in here which don't really look all that good for various reasons Also stuff that you wouldn't often see in Star Wars lore, like a guy with hair like that, or like that. Um, anyways, very young guys, we're gonna have hair short and spiky. We're gonna have some dark brown hair. Should we have a beard? Uh, should we have a beard? Beard makes us look old. There's no like five o'clock shadow. Uh or Archer. Or too sure. His friggin' mustaches make make makes it look like you see speak like a Those are more suited to like generals. Uh Classic, classic Mexican mustache there. Okay, let's see here. There's this, but it's the texture for it looks kind of a. So I'm just gonna go beardless. Uh, I want our face to be wide. Face ratio affects whether your face goes derp or derp. So we want it just slightly derp. Face depth effects. Eh, eh. And because we don't want to make it look like we just got our face clubbed in with a gaffy stick, let's just make it stick out a bit. Temple width, that's just your general bone structure. So I want it like right there. Eyebrow shape affects whether you're really empathetic or really mad. So, let's see here. We want to be slightly mad. Move those eyebrows down. There we go. Now we look determined. Uh, eyelids just affects the slant of your eyes, pretty much. Eye depth determines whether your eyes are popping out of your head or more sunken in. I prefer more of a sunken in look myself. It gives a little bit uh, more of a shadowing to the eyes. Uh, eye shape. That affects that you have, well, you can see. Whether you have Asian eyes or, I don't know, whatever kind of eyes those are. Um, let's go with that. Eye to eye distance, self explanatory, like that. We want our eyes to be like that, I'd say. Eye width. Uh, this affects how your eyes wrap around your face and your eyebrow uh, skull up here. <laughs> skull, eyebrow bone, I don't know, whatever you call it. Uh, right there, that's good. Cheekbones. Affects how much of a heroin addict you are. Uh, stick them in a bit there. Nose bridge is how much of a nose sticky out you have there. Nasal curvature. I don't think that they give you a wide enough range for this. You either have a a Scrooge nose, or you can have a flat nose. I feel like the, they should have had a bit more of a, maybe a slightly in, or I don't know, a little bit, it still feels like there's a bit too much curve on that. Yeah. It's probably just me, okay. Nose, 
size. We want our nose not as wide. Uh, nose height. That just affects the. I don't know how tall your nose is. <laughs> I guess. I don't like that. Neck width is. I don't like that. Uh, cheeks affects how chubby cheeks. Chubby your cheeks are. We don't want to be a chubby cheeks. So let's have it like right here. Mouth width. Have that down. Mouth to nose distance apparently determines how close your mouth is to your nose, but it kind of just looks like it scrunches that whole area. Jaw position. We want a strong jaw, but not that strong, so. That's good. Jaw width, just kind of a. There's a bit of an adjustment to that, so. Let's have it like that. Chin forward. You could be like a horse, or you could be normalish. Normalish. So let's let's be normalish. Uh, chin shape gives you the American double chin. I don't know. Um, we want a not so much double chin. Chin size adjusts how tall your chin is. So there we go. We have a nice, handsome young man here. I think that's good. It is a period of gla it is a period of civil war. The Galactic Empire is in constant battle with the Rebel Alliance, while the Hut Cartel looks for opportunities to make money and expand their area of rule. Whatever course you take, a great adventure awaits you. Okay, so here we go. Start off at a nice Imperial officer. Uh, I'm sorry, Imperial trooper uniform. I'm gonna ditch my Imperial hat right away. Uh, start off with 600 credits. Some stuff to keep our party happy. Some basic commoner clothing. A lightsaber, a crappy one. And a rifle. And a speeder bike. But I don't really like speeder bikes. So, we also start out with five Imperial recruits. Uh, recruits, just as the, uh, the intro said. So we have to go to Coruscant to pledge our allegiance to Emperor Palpatine. Here we are. Here's the main hall. Looks really Excuse me. I have no idea why they have a stormtrooper sitting at the desk. I guess I'm supposed to talk to you. I guess you're the leader of the Galactic Empire. Maybe it's this ominous guy over here. This is Emperor Palpatine. Do I know you? My name is Lindar. At your service, sir. I am Emperor Palpatine, the ruler of Galactic Empire and the Lord of Coruscant. What is it? <laughs> I've always liked my Palpatine voice. Um, my lord, I have come to offer you my services as commander. You are known as a brave man-at-arms and a fine leader of troops, Lendar. I shall be pleased to accept you into my service, and you uh, what? and be my commander. That's not a proper grammar. And be my commander, if you are ready to swear homage to me. I am ready, my lord. Good. <laughs> Good, Linda. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as lawful ruler of the Galactic Empire. I pledge homage to you as lawful ruler of the Galactic Empire. I will remain as your loyal and devoted man as long as my breath remains. You get the idea. And I will be a 
at your side to fight your enemies should you need me. Finally, I will uphold your lawful claims and those of your legitimate heirs. Very well. You have given me your solemn oath, Lendar. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Let it be known from this day forward that you are my sworn man and commander. I give you my protection and grant you the right to bear arms in my name, and I pledge that I shall not deprive you of your life, liberty, or properties except by the lawful judgment of your peers or by the law and custom of the galaxy. Furthermore, I give you the planet of Com with all its nearby facilities. You have done a wise thing, Lendar. Serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. I thank you, Lord. So you can see that joining the Galactic Empire has reduced our standing with the Rebel Alliance, and apparently an officer as well, because he doesn't like us, but that's okay. I have great hopes for you, Lendar. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you. So there we go. We are now a member of the Galactic Empire. Ta-da! Well, Lendar, what is it? Uh, do you have any tasks? Okay, so... Any huge hero or NPC or leader of a faction, you can ask if they have any tasks for you. And this is pretty much the questing system. Usually they will have tasks for you. And usually they'll be fairly menial. Collecting debt, collecting taxes, killing a killer or a bounty hunter or something. Just tiny stuff. Uh, so I have <laughs> a lawless villain known as Zyrus the Rocket Jock. He murdered one of my troops. Oh, one of your troops. I didn't realize you cared that much for stormtroopers. And has been on the run from his judgment ever since. Uh, 300 credits. And he's on Zal 3. I will hunt him down and give him what he deserves. Okay. So we're just going to make a brief stop in the cantina here. Oh, well that's fortunate. What? A drink? Of course you want a drink. You're in a cantina. Here, friend, my treat. I just won a thousand credits playing Pazak against a particularly stupid Gamorrean. Though here's a hint. When a piggy's dealing, say, give me another card, instead of hit me. Thanks. What's your story? My story? I'm a Corellian, through and through. I joined up with the core sec, like my daddy before me. My first raid on a spice smuggling ring went bad fast. I took a stunner to the chest, and when I came to, I was stashed with a bunch of my dead mates in a holding room. After my capture, I saw opportunity. I dumped my uniform, swapped clothes and ID with a dead smuggler, filled my pack with glitter stim, and set off. And Spice by a pretty penny, and I've been drinking, gambling, and brawling across the galaxy ever since. I mean, sure, it gets rough from time to time, but I can take on anyone in a fight. So that piggy's likely to bring back some friends. Hey, want an enforcer? I'm probably gonna need a ride off this rock soon anyways. Might as well get paid for what, doing what I love, eh? Sounds like you can bust heads. I can use an enforcer. Sounds good to me. Oh, I should warn you, I'm not the type to just take it when people act out of line. When someone steps on my toes, they get it back in the face, alright? Tell your boys to keep off my back, and I'll watch yours. There won't be any problems, get your things in order. Good, give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. So, occasionally when you're traveling the galaxy, you'll come, you'll come across NPCs such as these, and you'll have the opportunity to recruit them. Um, these are unique NPCs, they're like hero units, so it's pretty fortunate that on my first cantina I ran into one, because uh, in my previous playthroughs, in, in this version, I was having trouble finding them. 
Anyways, we can talk to the bartender here. And there's a few things you can do. You can play Pesach for credits. You can uh, make some money off contracts. You can hire some soldiers. So I want to hire some soldiers here. Specifically some Mandalorians. They're good soldiers. Uh, these droids, in my opinion, are not worth it. They've high hiring costs, and the weekly wages are pretty expensive. When you can instead just raise up a unit. And they aren't all that good, really. So, in my opinion, it's better to buy organic. So let's see here, we want a chiss too. It's more appropriate to uh, recruit a chiss to the Imperial side anyways. They're much more involved in the Imperial lore. Uh, so, let's see here. We'll get a Wookiee too. Okay, I want to make some money. Are there any contracts available? There's a pirate named Ty of Tatooine. It seems like Ty of Tatooine. Wow, he represents a whole planet. It seems that his gang was intercepted during some sort of sabotage, but he managed to get to an escape pod. He's been causing problems for locals at Kessel ever since. The price is 300 credits. Kessel, eh? Okay, so here we have the map. For those of you who have played 9.0.3, it's changed a bit since then. Uh, there's a few new planets, and they removed some older ones, which wouldn't have made as much sense in Star Wars lore. So where do we gotta go? Gotta go and find Zyrus the Rocket Jock at Zal 3, and Ty of Tatooine at Kessel Moon. So where's Zal 3? Zal 3 is in the opposite direction of where we want to go. Okay. Well, let's go. So at the start of the game, you move incredibly slow. Because you don't have a ship. Although it looks like you have a ship that's really just a placeholder for a ship. And your placeholder is dependent on um, what, fa ooh, what faction you start as. That was close. 